Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here with another tutorial video for you. Today we are going to go over everything you need to know to make TMR or Total Mixed Ration. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, Fox, jeez, not Fox, how about folks? All right, folks, welcome back to another tutorial video. So, um, we are gonna go through some of the different equipment here and some of the different stuff here. So I'm not gonna teach you how to produce everything here. I did do, so what we have here is we have straw, we have hay, and we have silage. So I have a video linked below for how to grow grains, and that video talks about which ones produce straw, so that's how you would get straw. I also have a video linked below how to produce hay and grass. You'll need the hay part of that, obviously. And I also have a video linked below how to produce silage. So if you don't know how to get any of these products, those videos are linked below. This is not gonna teach you how to get those. It's gonna teach you what to do with them to make total mixed ration. Okay, so these are the three ingredients. It's, it's basically the, they come in three forms each of them and there's three ingredients so the first ingredient is straw this is loose straw just picked up off a field then i have a square bale of straw made with a square baler and i have a round bale made with a round baler pretty simple hay is grass that's on a field after it's been tedded then baled um so while well, this is baled here this is just collected so after it's been tedded dried whatever the case may be this is picked up with a loading wagon or some other form um so anyhow it's stored here in this trailer and i have straw in this one and i have silage in the far one but uh and then if you bale it then you have hay bales round bales and square bales here so each of these are four thousand liters and this is just a miscellaneous amount on the ground and again these are four thousand liters as well um so oh i guess i should mention this is going to be divided up into different um parts if you will they're not really stages because you kind of yeah you know, anyhow so this is part one um of this process and this is ingredients and i know that thing's already been down there on your screen showing you that this is that part so this is kind of the ingredients for what you're going to make tmr with uh so silage now down here is the more complicated of all the ingredients um i'd say these two are much easier to come by it kind of goes in order so straw is the easiest because all it is is just a byproduct of a crop hay is just grass that's cut and then tedded so a little bit more work silage is grass or chaff that has been fermented so you can either ferment it in the bunker silo or you can um, take grass and bale it and then wrap it with the wrap you see here so these are grass bales that have been wrapped and then fermented into silage um, these will become silage instantly there's no fermenting if you do this unless you're on seasons then you have to wait for them to ferment but that's a whole nother ball game and again this is the most complicated one so if you don't know how to do it watch that video that's linked below first and then come back and watch this it will help you tremendously so um what we're gonna do is make TMR, as I mentioned. So I just have, these ones don't really matter. These are just tractors, trailers, nothing important about this equipment. So in game, and I'm not gonna talk about mods uh, a whole lot. I'm gonna try to avoid that as much as possible. So um, actually, before we talk about this, what is TMR used for? TMR is the best thing you can feed cows in Farming Simulator 19. So if we go into our menu here, go over to cows. I have a pen here with 50 cows. So over here, this is the food. So this is okay food, this is oak even a little bit better food and this is great food so if you look down here grass is only 25 percent effective hay silage and hay pellets is 75 percent effective but if you take hay and silage mixed with straw or just hay and silage mixed together and make total mixed ration you get 100 percent effectiveness so that is what we're shooting for so you can get the most out of your cows and have the most productivity on this side of things over here with milk and reproduction so these are the two feed mixers which are in standard in game so this part is going to be section two this is or part two this is the mixing portion of it so what we're going to do is we're going to take the ingredients in certain proportions and we're going to mix them into these two wagons here now you might think that it's the same regardless of what wagon you use but it's not so the reason i mentioned that is if we go in the store and look at these guys we go over to here they're under animals this is the first one on the left side you hear see over here on the right side we have the silo king this one has a capacity of 11,893 so why does that matter because you can't just fill it up with a random combination of straw grass and uh or excuse me straw hay and silage you have to fill it up proportionally the way it needs to be and i'll explain how to mix it and all that as we go through um, the silo king however is a 16,000 liter capacity so you could use a little bit more of each ingredient if that makes sense so that's why they're a little bit different so we're actually going to start with the silo king so it'll be a little bit easier to work actually no we'll probably start with the it doesn't really matter we're going to kind of just estimate this as a 12,000 liter tank if that makes sense since it's 11,800 something we're just going to pretend like it's a 12,000 liter tank so um, if we open up our help screen and we hop into this vehicle down in the up and well i say down in the bottom left hand corner or middle left hand side of the screen you see mixing ratio that top percentage 
is hay, the second one is silage, and then the bottom is straw. Notice if you go over those arrows that are in there, that's the target range that you want. So if I fill, if I just put a thousand liters of straw in here, down at the bottom, it's gonna say 100% straw because it's proportional. It's a proportional mixing rating. It's not gonna fill up until you get into those arrows and then you're good. So it's proportional. So this one, to make a good mix, we need, we can, and this is probably what I'd say is the most cost-effective mix, is about 4,000 liters of straw, 4,000 liters of silage, and 4,000 liters of hay. But you don't have to use straw. Straw is optional. So if you only have hay and silage, you can do it. And you might say, well, why even bother with the straw then? Straw is extremely cheap. It's a very cheap ingredient compared to hay and silage. So if you look at like prices for hay and silage um, compared to straw, straw is the cheapest of those. So it's kind of like a filler, if you will. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to hop out of here. I'm going to leave that help screen open so you can see. Um, now, obviously, we can either put bales in there or we can use loose product. For this one, we're actually going to put bales in. So I'm going to hop in here. This is a front loader with a bale spike on it. That's how I prefer to do it. There's other ways. And... Um, as far as moving bales go, let's actually talk about that real quick. So if we go into the store here, what I'm using is under this piece of machinery, I'm using this guy right here. You also can use any tractor. Like if we go into, I think the Fiat has one. Nope, it does not. Okay, let's go into the Fent. I know it has one. They go down here, front loader attacher. If you do that, you can get a front loader attacher on a tractor. And if you already own a tractor and you're not sure if it works, go up to the shop and see if it does have that option and you can pay for it as well after you already own the tractor. Then if you have a front loader attachment on there, then you're gonna need to get, depending on which one it says it's gonna attach to, and it tells you kind of what horsepower the tractor is, you get one of these to attach to. Um, and this will attach to John Deere tractors that are that. I think they all work, they're kind of interchangeable. So, um, and then there's different attachments down here that work for our front loader that we have out and about. and those front loader um, sections here for tractors. So I have the bale spike, which is my preferred method. Um, you can though use, um, you can use this guy, roll type bale fork. It can kind of lift the bales or you could use the bale handler here. Um, those do work as well. Those are kind of your options based game. Um, if you download the CSZ pack, that will give you some more options in addition to those. Um, so yeah, the, I, I prefer the bale spike. I think it works really great. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and add, um, first we're gonna add silage. That's what we're gonna do first. So we're gonna grab a silage bale here, lift it up. This has 4,000 liters of silage in it, as you can see down in the bottom right-hand corner. And this is actually backwards for how you would mix it. As you can see, it's open more on that side, but it does not matter necessarily as long as you can get high enough. And we're just gonna get it, oh, I'm over a little bit, aren't I? Yep, there we go. We're just gonna get it down and then it's gonna get in there once it gets in there a little bit. So now if we hop out, we hop in the tractor, if you look in the, in the center left-hand side there, it says 100% silage. So, okay. Green, it's still silage, and you look down on the bottom right-hand corner, it does silage. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bale of hay to this mix. So we're gonna grab this bale of hay here. Perfect, and if you notice down on the bottom right-hand corner, it says hay down there, 4,000 liters. So we're gonna get this guy in there just like that. Then we're gonna hop out, we're gonna hop back into here. So now it says down in the bottom right hand corner, it says total mix ration. So we have accomplished our task by what we have in this tank here. We have 8,000 liters of total mix ration. So we could go with this. If that was what you wanted to go with, you could go with it. And what you could do if you wanted to, if you could add about 2,000 liters of silage and about 2,000 liters of hay, you could keep the ratio right. If you added, for example, if we hop out, we're actually gonna ruin this batch, um, I think. So what if we hop out here and we add um, just this guy here. I think this is gonna be enough to overload it. If we just add another bale of hay in, we're gonna try to ruin this batch so it's not usable as TMR anymore. So if we put that in there, and we're gonna hop back in here, oh, of course it's still good. So if you notice over on the, in the center left-hand side, so that actually is a good ratio there as long as you hit between those two arrows. Now, I always use the same ratio, so I haven't done a lot of a bunch of experimenting to see, oh, these are different recipes that work. Um, just find one that works for you. I like the 12,000 liter or about, I like kind of about this capacity. Um, notice too, it is 11,800, 900, or 11,893 liters full and you lost a little bit of that hay bale, you're not gonna get that back since you put a 4,000 liter hay bale. So technically we put 12,000 liters of stuff in here, but we're only getting that back. So as long as it's down there in the ratio, maybe we'll ruin a batch in that one so I can show you what happened. So this is good. Um, you could have put a straw bale in instead. So if I control I, we're just gonna empty this out onto the ground. That's just total mix ration. We're just gonna empty it out. So once I get this emptied out here, I'm gonna bring you guys back in. 
All right, so I emptied out the batch behind us and I put in a hay bale and a silage bale, as you can see down there in the center left of the screen. It says 50-50 on those guys. So now I'm gonna show you what happens when we add a straw bale, just for demonstration purposes here. If I grab a straw bale and I add it to that mix, it should, oop, maybe if I can grab it. Depends on how my driving skills work out for the day. Oh boy, well, and for throwing bales, <laughs> that's not gonna help us out at all. All right, there we go. So 4,000 liters of straw. We put that in there. Hop out. Oh, so here we did actually ruin this one. So this is not quite the right ratio. So I do do a, a uh, it depends on, I guess, what mix wagon you have. So this one, that didn't work. If you look down there in the in the center left-hand part of the screen, it says we're a little over on the straw. So that's that's all all that she wrote for this one so um and it may be different if you actually have a twelve thousand liter capacity one because i use a modded one that has twelve thousand liter capacity and i put one of each bale in and it's perfect mix right there so as you can see down in the bottom right hand corner it says forage this stuff is now kind of useless for us so that is not tmr that is not what we're looking for so now we're going to use straw in this mixer and we're actually going to make a good batch in there so that's go ahead and well we're gonna need some more bales actually i'm gonna use some loose product this time to demonstrate that as well so um loose is gonna be a, i would say more tedious i prefer to do bales i think it's easier at least for this portion of it now if you do um if we go into the end of here you can buy a placeable silo i believe it's standard yeah this guy so this is a hayloft it does uh hay and straw so you could um, have silage that you put in and then pull up next to that and then put the right amount of hay and straw in um, into your directly into your mixing wagon and mix that way as well so let's actually grab well it doesn't matter what we grab first we're just going to grab a load of straw so almost a thousand liters in here so if we put that in there just like that and we'll grab some hay this time and I will also note too, actually, as we're going with this, so there is another option as far as front loader attachments for this. So I am using the universal bucket, which works. You also can use the manure fork. It will pick up silage, grass, and or silage, hay, and straw. I also picked up look, grass, but th that's the one you're looking for. So that works as well. Um, this one also will work um, for you. The silage cutter will work. So there's some different options depending on what you wanna use. A bucket works fine, I think. Um, maybe get a bigger bucket, like in a mod or something like that. That might help you out a little bit. But uh, yeah, let's get this guy put into here. Just like that. So if we hop out and get in the tractor, there we go. We have too much straw, as you can see. So we're currently forged. That doesn't mean we can't fix it. So once it's forged, you still can recover it if you have the space to do so, which we definitely do in this tank here. So what we're going to need to do to recover that is, well, first, let's add a load of silage in there since that's a required ingredient. And then once we get the silage in there, then we'll see what the ratio is at at that point and see if it's good or not, because that would be uh, one third ratio for each item. So we'll do that and then we'll see how that turned out all right so we're still a little high on the straw so we just have to um, essentially just kind of cancel it out with either hay or silage to kind of raise one of those levels to make the ratio better so we'll just go ahead and put a little bit more silage in real quick And again, I'm testing it or checking it as I go because this is just a different mix than I normally run. After you figure out exactly what your mix is, you'll be like good to go. You'll be like, okay, I need eight buckets of this and three buckets of that and you know six buckets of that. You'll figure out your mix that works well for your farm. Um, as long as you get the TMR, like now, there we go. Now that we bumped up the silage, the hay's in the bottom portion of it, so we can't get any lower on the hay, and we're right at the top for the straw, but silage is right in the middle, so there we go. So then you would just take this over to your cows, We'll actually just demonstrate that real quick. Well, actually, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to do a separate video for how to take care of cows and stuff um, as well. I just put this on here just strictly for the purposes of showing you um, what you're going to need the TMR for, which is right here. So TMR, total mix ration, there it is for you. Now, I understand that there are mods and different things to change it and do it differently, and there's feed mixers for PC and stuff like that, but this is kind of the base game form of making TMR is doing it this way. So if you have any questions about TMR, please drop it down in the comments 
I'm happy to answer those. Um, feel free to just let me know if there's any tutorial videos you want to see on anything else as well. I may or may not be able to get them done, but I try to do that as much as possible. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please drop a like down below. And if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the channel. All right, guys, this has been Farmer Cop. I hope this was helpful. I will see you guys on the next one.